What are the best passports in the Pacific region? In today's video, I'm going to be listing four countries in the Pacific region that have some of the best and most underrated passports in the world. And a lot of these you would not expect to be as strong as they are. Starting off with the first country in this list, this is probably the most obvious one. You hear a lot of people talking about this. That would be the Japanese citizenship and the Japanese passport. Now the Japanese passport is definitely one of, if not one of the strongest passports in the entire world. You have visa-free access to a lot of countries and the Japanese passport is very well respected across the international sector. You've pretty much got the whole Western world open to you, you've got Latin America, all these countries. You don't really have the East, but in regards to the Western hemisphere, you've got pretty much everything. Now it is also worth noting that Japan does not allow dual nationality and you cannot maintain multiple passports if you are over the age of 21. However, if you watch my most recent podcast I did with my friend Alex, you can find out that there are some loopholes you can do to avoid having to renounce any of your citizenships, at least at the starting point. Moving on next to the second country in this video, I have made a few videos about this country before, and that would be the Palauan citizenship and the Palauan passport, because actually the country of Palau, very small chain of islands in the Pacific, you don't really hear about it much on the international scale. However, their passport is certainly extremely strong as the Palauan passport combines Western access with Eastern access. For example, if you are a citizen of Palau, you have visa-free access to a country like the US, but you also seem to have visa-free access to the Schengen area and maybe even the common travel area. And you also have something which is very rare among these type of passports. You also seem to have visa-free access to a country like Russia. So if you are talking about visa-free access country maximization, this combination of Western countries and Eastern countries certainly makes the Palauan passport very strong. And now moving on to the third country in this list, that would be the Solomon Islands passport. Now if we compare it to the Palauan passport, once again, Solomon Islands, very small chain of islands in the Pacific, and they have one thing that the Palauan passport misses out on. However, they also miss out on something that a Palauan passport has. As if you are a citizen of the Solomon Islands, you do not have visa-free access to the US, but you have gained Canada and you still have the Schengen area and countries like that. You know, the reason why it's so important talking about these passports is because you never really hear people talking about them and they are extremely strong. There is a massive surprise factor to these passports and their strength across the international sector because yes, although South America is certainly very weak with these passports, if we look at some Western countries, the fact that you have access to them is amazing. And the final passport on this list would have to be the Samoan passport. Samoa has a very strong passport for that region as well. It is certainly very strong. You pretty much have the same type of access as you would with the Solomon Islands passport. Yes, I do not believe that you do have visa-free access to the US, but you have visa-free access to a lot of countries across the international sector. However, one thing that is extremely relevant noting with these very small Pacific Island passports is that they aren't that strong across the whole world. They are strong in certain countries, like let's say, for example, you have visa-free access to the US, but chances are you're not going to have that strong visa-free access to the continent of South America. Maybe you have a country like Ecuador and Peru, maybe Bolivia at a push, however, a country like Argentina or Chile or Brazil, chances are you're not going to have access to these countries. Let me know which passport seems to be the strongest for you and your personal passport portfolio. And if you like this video, you can click right here and subscribe to get this information on YouTube. And if you want to follow me on my other social media, you can follow me on Instagram, X and Rumble. They're all linked down below in the description.